Now we're learning more about the deadly crash that left a pro golfer injured. The speeding Ferrari he was in slammed into an actor, Luke Wilson's SUV, and three other cars in Pacific Palisades. CBS 2's Dave Lopez is live with more information on the golfer's condition and the driver who died at the scene. Dave? Well, Pat, the golfer has gone back home to recuperate in South Carolina, and the man who was driving the Ferrari is his longtime business uh, manager. And it uh, turns out he was quite a man in uh, donating his time and his money to philanthropic uh, uh, situations and, uh, and programs in the city of Los Angeles. It all happened here behind me. And uh, when it did, the people who first arrived on the scene were horrified at what they saw. From the air, you can see what's left of a Ferrari after it slammed into a concrete pole in the 500 block of Chautauqua. Somehow, pro golfer Bill Haas, sitting in the front seat, survived with minor injuries. The driver, 71-year-old Mark Jabello, his longtime money advisor, did not. I, I, I don't really think I'm... Actor Luke good. Wilson was also involved in this crash. He was driving a Toyota when the Ferrari clipped him before hitting the pole. Wilson, who was unhurt, stayed on scene, and when members of the Jabello family showed up, he actually comforted them and took them home. A member of the family told me they'll never forget his kindness. Jabella, who was a member of the LA Country Club, was hosting Haas and his family. Haas was in town to play in the Genesis Open at the Riviera Country Club, but he dropped out of today's Pro-Am and dropped out of the tournament and has flown home to South Carolina. The bright lights on the security video is that of the Ferrari. It's taken from a distance. So it's not real clear, but we have slowed down the video. You can see an impact. That's when the Ferrari hit a BMW that was headed in the opposite direction. You don't see the collision with the Wilson car. And then you see the Ferrari spin out and hit the pole. Again, all from a distance. Exactly how fast Jabella was driving, detectives aren't saying. Only that it was well above the 30 mile an hour speed limit. According to the other drivers, and the skid marks show it, for whatever reason, Jabello crossed over the yellow line right about where I'm standing, hit the BMW right here, and then that started the chain of events that wound up with the Ferrari wrapped around that pole. It's turned into a, a mini racetrack. Charlie McDonald told me he's been in this area for 30 years, and he said the people just speed down this street. All of a sudden you hear, you know, you know somebody's like, you know, hitting it for 50, 60, 70 miles an hour. According to friends, Jabello made a lot of money in the investment banking business. And he gave a lot of it back through charities. According to one friend, he said, he's one of the kindest, most generous men you'll ever meet. And one of his favorite charities, one of his favorite organizations was St. John's Hospital, which put out a very brief statement saying how shocked they are and how much he'll be missed. Back to the studio.